Uncle Mud here with the Mud Family crew. Been working today on mostly chasing down wiring issues, but one of the things we got to play with today was uh, this, this Liberator rocket heater. Has this nice little addition for a pellet hopper. Doesn't use electricity. The heater itself is UL listed um, and designed to handle a uh, uh, being plugged into a mass. So uh, we got it plugged into our cob bench here in the living room, and um, we've been testing it with different fuels, like uh, cutoffs from the flooring manufacturer down the street, and those work pretty good. And the um, uh, the blocks, the um, these tried a couple different sizes of these uh, Enviro brick made from compressed sawdust. And uh, we don't have the 25 feet of insulated chimney that is called for to make this thing draft well enough to burn those more that it just, than just at a, a, a low smolder. So um, we don't like how those work, even though it is nice to be able to stick a bunch of them in there like a Pez dispenser and let it run for a while, but it doesn't tend to keep going like we'd like. But this is the, the pellet hopper and the feed tube that goes down inside and just gravity feeds those into the stainless steel uh, tray, little basket. And uh, this is working really nicely so far. nice to have a non-electric setup for heat. We had the power shut off for a while today and we're able to keep warm anyway. It's very nice. So that's the Liberator rocket heater out of Missouri, United States. That works pretty darn well. Next up, we're gonna play a little more with our dragon heater. And then we brought this uh, box over from the office where we unpacked it, the Gamera rocket heater from Bulgaria. That's gonna be a fun one to play with too.